Are you curious about the new Avengers Campus at California Adventure in Disneyland? Well, let's take a look at that. Hey everybody, it's Ked from the Mouse Scout. Before we begin today, if you like our videos, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. And subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video. The Avengers Campus opened June 4, 2021. It's an immersive land where we mere mortals can brush elbows with our favorite Avengers, sling webs with Spider-Man, learn mystical arts from Doctor Strange, eat supersized and super small foods from Pim Test Kitchen, and help Rocket break out our favorite Guardians of the Galaxy from the Collector's Citadel. The first building you'll see on your left is the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, or WEB for short. Peter Parker's Superbots got stuck in self-replicating mode and you need to help him capture them before they completely destroy Avengers Campus. Web Slingers currently only has a virtual queue. There is no standby line. You'll have two chances in the day to join the queue at 7 a.m. and again at 12 p.m. You do not have to be in the park to get the boarding group for the 7 a.m. queue. You can be at home but you do have to be in the park for the 12 o'clock one. Also, you do have to have a valid park ticket and reservation for California Adventure in order to join the queue too. Just like Rise of the Resistance, these boarding groups go in a matter of seconds. And even if you do get a boarding group, it's no guarantee you will get to ride the attraction. Greg and I had a backup boarding group of 151 and they stopped for the day at group 149. It was very disappointing. One thing to note is that there is a separate queue you need to go to when your boarding group is called for web slingers. Make sure you don't get into the queue for the campus. The campus line is very, very long. The day we were there, it stretched all the way back to the area where you watch World of Color. It took us over three hours to get into the campus, but hopefully that will get shorter soon. Web Slingers is the building you want to keep your eye on throughout the day to see Spider-Man in action. Periodically, he'll appear on the rooftop and you get to see his moves. He even flies from one building to another. Spoiler alert, the Spider-Man that leaps between the buildings is actually an animatronic. It's an amazing sight. After Spider-Man crawls down the building, this is where you can have your picture taken with him. There are lots of character sightings throughout the campus, most of whom you will see on top of the Avengers headquarters. The Dora Milaje would walk through campus and give a display of their spear-wielding strength, warrior-like martial arts, and tribal dancing. And down in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill leads an epic dance-off to try to get Gamora to smile. In the middle of campus is the Ancient Sanctum. Tony Stark invited Doctor Strange to the campus to enlighten recruits about the mystic arts. Here you can explore the ruins and learn the site's secrets from Doctor Strange himself. There's also a really fun photo op here that makes it look like you're falling. The 
Quinjet sits atop Avengers Headquarters. As of now, this is not a building you can go into, but it is where most of the Avengers make their appearances. There are some fun Easter eggs around the campus. The campus was originally a Stark industry complex for top secret research, so you'll see old signs left over from the old campus. When you first walk into campus by the Avengers sign, you'll cross over the arc reactor that powers the campus. It's just like the one in Tony Stark's chest, but it's much larger. The name Miles is in the graffiti on the Web Slingers building, which refers to Miles Morales, who's one of the characters known as Spider-Man in the comics. There's a spigot near the base of the Web Slingers building where you can see gamma radiation is leaking and spilling onto the tree in front of it, which is big, green, and angry. When Tanalir Tavon, the Collector, heard that the Avengers Campus was coming, he moved his fortress to be nearby. This warped the area surrounding the building, causing a colorful substance to ooze from the ground all around it. This is known in the comic book world as Kirby Crackle, which is a storytelling device that dates back to the 1960s. Jack Kirby, the acclaimed Marvel comic book artist, began to draw clusters of round black dots to depict enormous, but not necessarily directed, energy, often of a cosmic nature. It may have just looked like ink spots splashed around, but it meant that two comic book universes were colliding on the page. It's a nice nod to Mr. Kirby. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is my favorite attraction at California Adventure. The Towering Citadel is where the collector has brought his unique collection of fantastical fauna, relics, and species from across the cosmos to Earth. He is very excited about his newest acquisition, the Guardians of the Galaxy. However, Rocket has escaped and needs our help to rescue his fellow Guardians. You'll board a gantry lift to unleash intergalactic mayhem from the top of the fortress to the bottom as one of Star-Lord's awesome mixtapes blast a classic tune. Are you hungry? Because believe it or not, Avengers Campus is a great place to enjoy a meal or get a drink as well. At Pym Test Kitchen, you can refuel with Ant-Man and the Wasp size-defying fare at this epic eatery. This old lab facility turned quick service restaurant features a seating area and bar with decor that incorporates remnants of ongoing experiments. giant soda cans, humongous condiment bottles, and massive cell phones recycled as menu boards. Breakfast features eggs, bacon, potato bites, cinnamon toast, plant-based folded omelet with an impossible breakfast sausage. There's also a Disney check meal for the kids and they can try the cinnamon mini toast. We tried lunch here, which has the same menu for dinner too. The Quantum Pretzel is 453.8 grams, Bavarian style, with sharp cheddar cheese beer sauce. The Pim Eni sandwich was really delicious. It tasted just like a pizza to me. It comes as a regular sandwich, but they also offer a family size version that feeds six to eight guests and costs $99.99. We also tried the Caesar salad with both large and tiny croutons. It was a typical Caesar salad, but we enjoyed it. There's the not-so-little chicken sandwich, which is confusing to try to eat at first, but when I simply thought of it as a chicken filet, I figured it out. They also offer a PB3 superb sandwich, 
and an impossible spoonful pasta, which we will have to try next time. The PIM Tasting Lab is an innovative beverage laboratory and specializes in specialty craft beers and beer cocktails. We tried the Honey Fusion and the Experiment drinks. I've decided that I must be really picky because I did not enjoy either of these drinks. To me, they tasted like hand soap. But I've seen that several other vloggers enjoy the drinks here and it must just be me. I think I'll just try a beer next time. Just like the Avengers did at the end of the first Avengers movie, you can try the Shawarma Palace, which offers delicious fillings like fragrant chicken shawarma with garlic spread or impossible plant-based falafel. I will definitely try these next time. Here at Shawarma Palace is where you can purchase the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet for $22.79. It comes with your choice of a Coca-Cola bottled beverage, which can then be held in the glove. Located in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is another cart called Terran Treats, where you can treat yourself to tasty churro spirals and cosmic orbs. If you can't find a table outside Pym Test Kitchen, you can go to the large seating area in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. There is lots of shady seating here and fun billboards to keep you entertained. Now let's take a look at the shopping, which is something I love doing at Disney. <laughs> Across from web is web suppliers where I spent way too much money. Here you can get your own spider bot. I got the little one that's a little wind up toy and it's super cute. The larger ones, however, have their own game controller and you can make them battle each other for dominance. This is also where you can buy your very own web shooter that attaches to your wrist and works with the web slinger ride, giving you the ability to shoot multiple webs at once. They also have an Iron Man Repulsor Blaster that you can use on the ride too. Be sure to check out the boards behind the cash register that shows the high scores for the day and you can compare how you did to others. There is a supply pod in front of Pym Test Kitchen where they have different merch than what's in the web suppliers. I got a cool t-shirt here. And of course, as you may have noticed when exiting the Guardian's ride, there is a shop there as well. This is where you can get your Avengers merchandise. As Walt Disney said, Disneyland will never be complete. This also applies to Avengers Campus. In the future, the second phase of the campus will feature an e-ticket attraction that will put you right in the middle of the action. The rumor is that you will fly a Quinjet along with the Avengers to Wakanda and places beyond teaming up with the Avengers to fight alongside them to save the world. But as you know, this is subject to change. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you've enjoyed our look at the Avengers Campus. Are you excited for the Avengers Campus? Have you been there? If you did, what did you think of it? Comment below and let us know because I'm curious. And as always, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Until next time, be safe and remember, it's all just designed for fun.